Alright guys, I'm back for the sixth work in progress on this diorama, uh, the Unicorn Battlefield diorama for the 2012 Mecha Contest, and I'm on to the last phase of it, well, near last phase, the Jestas. Now I built this one out of the box because I want to do a little bit of battle damaging on it. Uh, basically this guy's going to be in a fight with the Garazulu, and the Garazulu is pretty much going to be destroying him, or on the winning side at least. Uh, in this whole diorama, the Garazulus are kind of kind of going to be on the winning side, so the Jestas and stuff are going to be more heavily damaged than the Garazulus. Now, I uh, I went ahead and built this guy out of the box because it was easier to damage and some, damage him and stuff with him being built than it would be if I was just doing the parts separately. So I just did a little bit here, mostly on the shield. You can see all the main spots are here because. Quite frankly, if he has the shield up guarding anything, all the hits, all the attacks and stuff are going to hit the shield as opposed to the rest of them. Because of that, and he doesn't have a shield over here, I uh, plan on doing a little bit of battle damaging right here. I actually thought I had, but uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't just realize that. I put a little bit of scraping and scuffing around the cockpit kind of area. Figured, you know, people try to focus on hitting that. Uh, his, one of his front skirts isn't here because it, the part was actually broken when it came out of the box, so I gotta re-glue that. I glued it initially, but it fell off. So that doesn't have anything to do with the battle damaging. And then I put some scrapes and scuffs on the, uh, the knee part right here. So it's just lightly damaged, uh, aside from the shield. Not a whole lot there, but just enough to where you can tell it's been in a battle. And... On the second Jesta, I'm really going to go out with it because it's going to be pretty much destroyed probably. But I haven't built it or started on damaging, damaging it yet. So just thought I'd show you guys this part of it. And I'll be back in a bit with more. Okay guys, so as you can see before you, I have moved back to working some on my diorama. I uh, just finished painting some pieces for the Jesta and they're drying. And I thought I'd do a little work on this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to texturize some of the diorama. Now, I'm not done with all of it, of course. Uh, I'm waiting to get done with all the Gundams and see where they're going to be, and then I'm going to do a lot more detailing for it. But I'm texturizing a few places where I already know uh, I'm going to want them to be. So I'm taking this stuff right here. It's a little mixture of sand, uh, wood glue, and water. And I basically just mix it all together. It makes this nice, uh, I don't know, just a liquidy kind of thing. Uh, you definitely want to put a little bit of water in, but not too much. And it gives it a nice grainy texture here, as you can see. Now this is a place where I'm going to have just like stacks of space debris. Not like debris like metal, but uh, just dirt and that kind of mess. And I just, I built it up with clay and then I went over it with the sand mixture and you can see it's a nice grainy texture because of the sand and it's going to dry right on there. I also did that over here where I had that and it's kind of overflowing down with inside there and uh, just a few other random places along here where I put some clay. Now what I've also done with it is I've put it on these here, these little pipings I'm going to have out here. I know you can't see it real well on those because it's white. But uh, here on these clear ones you can see I put it on top and I decided to put it inside there as if just like this stuff that has been that was flowing through the pipes, pipes kind of built up and uh, that's just what's left of it that just got caught in the pipes and stuff. And you can see there on the gray piping where I've kind of put some on it. You can see over there too. So uh, that's just a quick little bit that I thought I'd show and help for anybody who wants to do some grainy texturizing to dioramas they're building. So like I said, it's just some wood glue, a little bit of water and sand, mix it all together and spread it on with a paintbrush and it works pretty great. So that's all for this part. Okay guys, I'm back with the Jestas here, a little progress on them. You can see they're both built. Now this is the one that's not quite as battle damaged as the other one. Now I know it looks black in the video, this uh, this main color, but it's actually a very dark blue. 
and the other blue color got ended up way brighter than I intended it to. Uh, I, when I mixed it, it really looked kind of grayish, like a grayish blue, which is what I was going for. But it went on, it, I mean, it still got tones of gray in it, but it's very bright. Now, it was, I was disappointed with it at first and really didn't like it, but it's kind of grown on me, so it's okay. Now, you see there's not a whole lot of battle damaging on the main body itself, but a ton on the shield. That's because it has its shield, and it's using it to block all, like, the beam tomahawk attacks from the Garazulu it's fighting. And uh, so it's really damaged up in there, and you'll see I used the Dremel tool to cut away some stuff and then dry brush to rust color and dry brush silver on there and I use testers and enamel paints for that kind of stuff I find those work a lot better and I dry brushed a little bit here and there you know just a few things cut a little bit into the knee but I didn't do a whole lot on this one now you'll see on this one this one is gonna be completely destroyed like laying down on the diorama because it's like the pilot's been killed and it was just destroyed as you see in front of you now the story behind this is the Angelo Sauper. It has that giant beam gun. I don't know what it's called, but it's massive. So it basically takes a shot and hits this guy dead on and just destroys all this stuff, uh, shatters the visor in the process with the explosion and stuff, kills the pilot, and he just goes right down. So I have a bunch of damage on the chest area. Uh, this, I just decided to damage up the shoulder some. And I dry brushed a lot of areas, and since it's going to be lying in the debris, I used a sponge thing dabbing some paint, some grayish paint, uh, on it. Mostly in the lighter areas, just to darken that up a little bit, since it's, I don't want it to be so bright, since it is supposed to be destroyed and all. You'll see on this little thing on the top of the head, right above the eye, uh, if it would focus. I kind of dirtied that up and then cut into it a little bit, but I guess it's not really focusing. So... I'm going to do a few things here and there to these just as just a few little uh, improvement kind of things, just little little kind of stuff. But these are pretty much done, to be honest. And now, after I finish up the last few touches on these, I'm going to go into the diorama. That's all I really have left is placing the Gundams on there, uh, figuring out where they need to be, and working some things around that, and then painting it. So I'm in the last final stretch of this, and hopefully my next work in progress will be the last one. So thanks a lot for sticking with me through this, guys, and uh, I hope that you guys can see the finished product soon. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.